What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another FNAF video. Today we are actually going a little bit further into the Ruin DLC that's coming for Security Breach and we're going to be talking a little bit about the protagonist today because that's a very interesting subject. We've got this entirely new protagonist that we supposedly have never seen before but we might have. Which is why I'm bringing you the top five suspects, in my opinion, on who this new girl is. So if you enjoy this video, then make sure that you smash a like on it and you also subscribe. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting recently and I'm so, so excited for this DLC, even though it's coming next year, but forget about that. Let's just get straight into this. So we have this poster. If you haven't seen it, I've done a video dissecting it already, but we're going to be talking about this little girl. So who is the protagonist? Uh, the funny thing about this this girl in this art, and I know it's only like, I guess, concept art or it's just poster art. It's not actual graphics in the game. Uh, in this art, she has been chosen to be completely monochrome. She's in black and white. While everything else is colored, she's in black and white, uh, except for her shoes, which we'll talk about in a second. But yeah, if you... If you like rank up the exposure, which is what Matt Pat did in his most recent video about this DLC, uh, if you rank up the exposure or the brightness or whatever, you see that she is just completely black and white. She is not colored at all. So we can't really get too many clues from, you know, blonde hair, what color her clothing is, what kind of colors she, she wears and stuff. But we can get a good idea, maybe, because her shoes are lit up in red and purple. And the thing about that is that it that is very much kind of connected to Roxanne Wolf. And so I wonder if maybe we are going to get like a companion DLC where like instead of having Glamrock Freddy as a companion, we'll have Roxanne Wolf as a companion with this little girl. I'm not too sure about that because this seems to come after, you know, the Afton ending where everything is collapsing. And at that point, Roxanne is a little bit broken. She was, you know, kind of hit by a car and stuff. So I'm not entirely sure that's how it's going to go. But I think the red and purple detail might be uh, kind of something that we we keep in our heads for the, for the moment. Uh, but also, I have no idea what the black and white signifies. Uh, I, I don't know, like... She's walking into a world of color, but she's like disconnected from reality or something. Something metaphorical. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below because I actually don't really know what to think about that with the black and white. Uh, but the other big thing to point out with this is the girl has pigtails. Okay, so that's kind of the, uh, that's the other thing to point out here. That's kind of big. Uh, and is what we're gonna be basing our first one off of, which is Elizabeth Afton. So this is our first suspect. Elizabeth Afton. Now, Elizabeth, as we know, possesses Baby, and Baby does have a similar hairstyle. Kind of. By similar hairstyle, I don't mean exactly the same, like flowing outwards like this. Uh, I, I do mean, though, that she's kind of got two tufts of hair, I guess, is what you could say. Um, but you could say it's kind of similar. I will say that Elizabeth Elizabeth Sprite from Sister Location doesn't have pigtails, but uh, this isn't going to be the Elizabeth, and we'll talk about that in a second. But Elizabeth isn't actually present in Security Breach, so it would be good for her to show up here. Uh, and the reason we know this is because Baby's mask on the blob doesn't actually have the same glowing eyes as all of the other animatronics on the blob. And so, and, and the puppet is the same, so you kind of wonder, like, where is Elizabeth? Where is Charlotte? Uh, are they completely gone? Like, have, have they have they had their happiest day? Or are they still around, but just not in the blob? Now, this actually would be quite good story-wise, because if Gregory is the crying child, and if Freddy is Michael Afton, then the three siblings could potentially unite in this DLC and face the Pizzaplex, uh, the, the three as like the, the rest of the family apart from Afton. Like it would be so cool story-wise and that's what we thought was gonna happen with like Vanessa, but how is Vanessa Elizabeth, you know? it that, that part doesn't make sense. It would make more sense if Elizabeth was here in the DLC and then they'll kind of 
be like Crying Child, Michael Afton, Elizabeth, siblings against the world sort of thing. Uh, I would like that. That would be very cool as like a, a metaphor kind of. Uh, Story-wise, the Aftons are coming back to take over, uh, to, to undo the work of William Afton. However, there is a big problem with this, as you probably already are aware of and are thinking of. Uh, unless this is another robot created by someone for some sort of reason, Elizabeth is kind of dead. So there aren't really many viable explanations for why Elizabeth would just suddenly reappear as a child, you know? So that's the big thing here. And that's going to be the big thing for a lot of these suspects, actually. Like, why... Why is that this child here, if the child is some past child who died, like, how how is the child back? Uh, and that's a big problem I had with, like, Gregory being the crying child, but that's kind of explained in the fact that he's a robot. So, you know, I, I really hope that this girl isn't a robot, but you never know. Suspect number two, we have Cassidy. So in the survival logbook, Cassidy's hair looks very similar. That's a big point. I think out of all of the suspects, this is the most similar hairstyle. Uh, but it's hard to know if this, <laughs> this picture, this one picture from the survival logbook is actually Cassidy. People have been theorizing about it because she has kind of, uh, well, first of all, she has the golden in her hair. She has the golden uh, balls, I guess. Uh, but also she's like, like talking to the puppet. So they kind of have a connection, Golden Freddy and the puppet. That's a bit eh for me. Uh, but I do think that out of anyone, like any picture of anyone that we've seen in the series, this is probably the most likely to be Cassidy, but it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be Cassidy. So we don't even know if this is Cassidy or not. So we can't really say, oh, that's Cassidy. But also Cassidy is dead, just like Elizabeth. And she's stuck in Princess Quest, remember that, that if this is the Afton ending, the Princess Quest ending didn't actually happen, which means the princess didn't free Vanessa from Glitch Trap, but also Cassidy isn't free. Cassidy is still the princess in these machines waiting to be, I guess, freed. Um, so like, Cassidy really wouldn't be present in this DLC unless Princess Quest comes back up. So that's something you have to think about as well. Uh, much like Elizabeth though, it would make a great story knowing that Cassidy and the Crying Child were probably the two souls that were present in Golden Freddy. And I really like that aspect as well. Uh, but I'm not too sure about Cassidy at all being the protagonist. That would be a bit weird. Suspect number three, Patient 46. Now, the mystery of Patient 46 still isn't solved. Even Matt Pat said there are too many contradicting things. I guess it's the new character. And so I also believe that Patient 46 is either a new character or Vanny with a lot of plot holes. Um, but, you know, it, I do think it's a completely new character, mainly. Um, we, we do hear from the tapes, there are many instances in which the patient sounds like a child. So she likes candy, uh, she doesn't like, she doesn't suit the chair that she's in, stuff like that. There are little things, but uh, there are contradictions to that in the fact that she's already had a childhood, uh, a bad childhood or something. She lied about her childhood, that's it. Uh, and they see the same th therapists as Vanessa, which means that they have to be connected in some way. So I'm not too sure if this child is going to be connected to Vanessa or patient 46 at all. Like, I don't think that makes any sense. And I've always said this, but I don't think that the child would be going to a therapist, really. It's that's a bit of a weird thing. Anyway, uh, moving on. Now, suspect number four is that this is actually a missing child. And I don't mean the missing children from 1985, 1983, whenever you think the missing children's incident happened. This is the missing children from Security Breach. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about, we do know that there's multiple instances of missing children throughout Security Breach. We learned that. Uh, but also, we see the silhouettes of them uh, in one of the endings of Security Breach. This is the newspaper. This is the ending where Gregory like escapes the pizza plex, but Vanny still finds him. Uh, and yeah, the thing is about this is like, if 
if the missing children are coming back, how are they coming back? Like, Gregory makes somewhat sense. It still doesn't make that much sense, but Gregory makes somewhat sense knowing he's a robot. Uh, or at least he's theorized to be a robot. But, like, two robots out of missing children? Like, are they, pre are they making children disappear and then making them reappear but turning them into evil robots or something? I don't know. That would be a cool theory, but I don't think that's right. Um, but like, let's let's move on. So here's, like, you can see that Gregory is here. This is this is one of the missing children. Gregory is a missing child. Uh, that is clearly Gregory's silhouette. Uh, and one of the children has a similar silhouette to the girl, but the hair is is a little different. I think. Uh, like this is what people have been saying. This is not really my theory. Uh, I don't really believe this, but. It's still somewhat believable, she could be a missing child, but why would a missing child be here unless they were never killed or they were made into a robot? That is like the big question there. And uh, I do think that the missing children were killed because the therapists were killed. And finally, suspect number five is that this is just a completely new character and this is the one that I like the most. <laughs> uh, I think this is probably what everyone likes the most is what everyone hopes for that it's literally just a completely new character that continues the story but continues into a new story because everyone was upset when they found out that gregory could be the crying child and freddie could be michael and all of this everything was coming back and although that's kind of cool that that everything is reappearing you know even matt pat said that security breach connects dots between like everywhere in the series it's kind of cool but I kind of just want FNAF to go into a new direction, especially now that it's not just an, a sit and click office game. It's now a full on kind of like, it's now a VR game. It's now a game where you explore the Pizzaplex and like an abandoned Pizzaplex is now probably. So like, I really hope that it is a new character. And I think this is probably the one with the most potential. I actually think it probably is a new character. I think Steel will probably have listened to us uh, saying, we don't want old characters, we want new characters. Um, so yeah, I, I do think this is probably the most likely, but it does beg a lot of questions. And those questions are, is she related to Gregory in some way? Like, why is she here at all? How can she help Gregory? And where has she been all this time? You know, why is she just coming in now uh, does she have superpowers or something? You know, these are the questions we have to ask, but also the questions that you get to answer in the comments below. So what do you think? What are your theories? Do any of these suspects make any sense to you? There's a lot of pros and cons for each of these possibly being in the game. But uh, yeah, I just have to hear what you guys think. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, make sure that you subscribe so that you see more content in the future. I'll be covering any more FNAF news, especially about the DLC in the near future. But thank you so much for watching. I've been Ozone, but I have to go Ozone. I will see you later. Goodbye.